So, um, okay. so Egon, we all really came here for. If you read the textbook that I told you not to read, uh, you're going to get a definition along the lines of it's a study of how best to allocate scarce resources among competing issues. Don't write it down. Stop. Don't write this one down. Maybe the next one. <laughs> this is true, but really? Okay. Uh, so, oh, so this is what? A little more to it. Maybe, but this is more complex than it needs to be. <laughs> the, this one, they're saying, okay, let's break it down. You, you sometimes have a preacher, they'll read a verse, let's break it down. And they start with the first word, the second word, the third, and then you, that's what just allocate. What does that mean? Organize. Exactly. <laughs> that's our problem. Allie, organize, kind of. Deal with. Deal with, kind of. Place. Divvy up. Divvy up, spread out, yeah. You put the three together. To allocate, you started to organize. In an organized fashion, spread things out. Like, you've got a limited amount of time in your day. How are you going to use that time? I'm going to use eight hours of it sleeping, four hours of it driving, three hours playing video games, two hours getting slapped by my wife, <laughs> 30 minutes worth of eating, 20 minutes telling bad jokes in class. How are you going to spread out and use your scarce? What does scarce mean? Very limited. Very limited. Resources. What is a resource? Stop right. Things you use. Perfect. Things you use. A resource. A human being is a resource. A Pepsi can is a resource. Time is a resource. Money is a resource. How many of us have a limited on money? Sometimes I have a, a, a tablet with a little soundboard on here and I hear the beep. Like, beep. Yeah. We got limited money. We got a limited amount of time. So what are we going to do with it? Right? So that's on competing uses. You can spend your time being awake, you can spend your time being asleep, you can spend your time being server, you can spend your time being less than server. You can spend your time hanging out with that dead end loser that you know is a dead end loser, but well, just he makes me laugh. I don't right. What that is economics, right? Economics is a study of human behavior. This is the one to write down. For those of you that have printed out a study guide all, none of you, that's the true or false question, number one. Economics is a study of human behavior. What we're, because we're looking at money, but we're not. We're using money to sort of measure and capture what we're doing. What we're spending our money on is a sign of what's important to us. What we're spending our time on is a sign of what's important to us. If you send somebody text message and they text back immediately, does that person think that you're important? You send somebody text and maybe they reply three days later? Yeah, yeah. a couple of y'all, yeah, I don't think so, right? Yeah. Time is a sign of importance there. If you're, yeah. my wife, if she was to call me in the middle of class, I'm gonna be telling y'all, hold on, and I'm going out the door. I mean, I love y'all and all, maybe, but just her, yeah. You know, I'm going to be talking to her, but if it's, you know, I get some kind of, you know, caller unknown from Oklahoma, I got one of them in class the other day. Uh, no, I'm not going to be, y'all, spending time with y'all is more important than talking to the telemarketer out of Oklahoma, right? Kind of. So what we do with our time, what we do with our money is a sign of what's important to us. If we all think that Britney Spears' music is important to society and to culture, hey, we're going to spend money buying her CDs and DVDs. Just say no, right? Don't do it. But we as a society have decided what? She ain't relevant anymore, right? So we ain't buying her CDs, we ain't buying her DVDs, we ain't buying her whatever, anything, we ain't buying anything she's got, right? And we don't even know, like, I don't know. So who we listen to, Drake, right? He's, he's somebody that's pretty big at the moment. Yeah, we think he's relevant in West, people are going in there seeing Drake. They're listening to Drake, they're buying his CDs and his music. Um, What's that movie? The Meg, the Meg, or the Meg, or Meg. I, I don't know if the V is there or not, but it's like Jaws trying again. The original Jaws, by all means, watch the original Jaws movie. By all means, read the book. I ain't lying. The book came out before the movie. The book is so much more going on than the movie. movie. I mean, okay, you know, Chief Brody is out there on a ship with Matt Hooper and Quint, and they're out there like overnight, and then they get to the shark the next day in the movie. In the book, they go out in the morning, they come back at night. They go out in the morning, they come back at night. This is over like a two-week period. In the meantime, 
Hooper is having an affair with Brody's wife. And Brody's getting suspicious of it. And he's the chief of police and he's scared of being in the water and that kind of stuff. So he's out there on the water, afraid of a shark, afraid of drowning, swimming, that kind of stuff. And he's there with a gun and he can't do anything with it and except he's there on a boat with a guy that he thinks is messing with his wife. <laughs> and there's a lot more going on in the book than the movie. I'm just saying. But anyway, I hope you don't no pushes you with a shark. Uh, yeah, accident. Was it the mafia guy in Simpson says, you know, accidents do happen. Fat Tony, yeah, yeah, accidents will happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, where was I going with all that? <laughs> Gee, uh, welcome to my brain. I'm sorry. Well, obviously, what, what's important to us. Yeah, and I still don't get the connection. That's the problem. <laughs> I just, I, oh, yeah. Um, See, the, the movie Meg, you know, people, apparently, you know, it's relevant enough that even its second week out there, it came into second place in the box office, but then there was like a couple other movies, I can't even think of the names of them, that their first week out there, they came in like fifth place and made almost no money, because we don't think that those movies are important. We don't care about that. But the, what, that Crazy Rich Asians movie? Yeah, you know, people are going and seeing that, and they're talking about that, and it's getting good buzz, and it's based on a book, believe it or not. I haven't read that one, so don't you? But it's like, um... Yeah, you know, there's some movies that we're going to see because we think there's value in seeing it. It's important that we see it. But then there's some movies, not so much. What we're spending our time on, what we're spending our money on, it's based on what we think is important. And so we're economics. It is business class, but it isn't a business class. We talk about money, but we just talk about money in terms of a little bit how we end up measuring and looking at human behavior. Because what did I just talk about? What is important to us culturally, as a society, as a family, as an individual? That sounds an awful lot like some other social sciences. Like, have any of you had Dr. Hayes' classes, any of them? Yeah. It's, I mean, psychology is in here. Sociology is in here. Economics is actually social science. It's just closely related to psychology and sociology and that kind of stuff. And government class, even, is as connected to those as it is to business. We're just using. We're talking about these same issues, but Dr. Hayes just talked about some of these issues in terms of firing neurons in the brain. I don't know. We're talking about it in terms of dollars and cents, but we still end up talking about some of the same stuff. So for those of you that you know, have taken some of Dr. Hayes' classes and you're like, I wish I was taking another one instead of being near you. Oh, well, it's, there's going to be some overlap here. There's some psychology, in that, but don't just, I never took a psych class in my life, so don't worry if you have never had psych, you're, you're going to be okay. Well, you'll be okay in this class. If you think he's a judge about not having a psych class and being okay, then good luck with that. Um, but it, 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 it's a social science. That's why a lot of you are not business majors and you end up taking this class. And why, you, if you are a business major, it really doesn't kind of count as a business class thing. But it, it does, but it doesn't. But money was one of those scarce resources. I'll tell you now, I'm going to get to this sometime later in the semester, but I'm here now. Money is a tool. How many of you work for money? Wrong. If you work for money, then that means Friday afternoon you pull up to the bank and you give them your paycheck and you say, I like it all at once, please. You take it home and you spread that money out on the bed and you start swimming through it like Daffy Duck singing, we're in money. Or you take these dollar bills and you start na nailing them to the wall as wallpaper in your room or whatever. Is that what you do? No, we're not working for the money. What are we working for? Stuff. What we can get with that money. We're working for the stuff that we're getting with the money. I ain't working for the money. I'm working for food for my kids. I'm working for clothes for my kids. I'm working for gas for my car. I'm working for my car. I'm working to feed the horse. Right. <laughs> so that, that summer school paycheck, pretty much, we have not added up the money that we spent this summer on horse and bar and fence and, and all I can we and we decide we will not the checking account balance is still above zero so apparently we had enough money to make it happen we ain't gonna look because we just ain't gonna grab it we're just like baby girl you better be a little bit more appreciative and do a little bit more around the house that's all I got to say just, yeah. but, yes what was I saying <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, just rabbit holes, they have it. Um, huh? Money is a tool. 
yeah, money is still, we're working for food, we're working for clothes, we're working for education, we're working for cars, we're working so we can save enough money to where we don't have to work later on in life, retirement. So we're working for free time. That's what we're working for. Money is just a tool and we just happen to use that tool to help us measure some of those other activities. How important is housing to people? Well, we see how much of our paychecks we're spending on housing. How important is a new car to you versus having uh, the old hoopty that you're driving around in now? Are you willing to pay that extra money, work those extra? So you don't think about the car in terms of, yeah, it's gonna cost me 300, you shouldn't think of the car, it's gonna cost me $300 a month to make the payment. You need to think about that car is it's going to cost me 30 hours of my life each month. I'm giving up 30 hours worth of time with my friends, time with my kids, time playing video games, time sleeping, time doing drugs, time doing whatever. I'm giving up 30 hours a month just so I can be riding around in the nice car instead of the rusty car that still is getting me from point A to point B. That's the thinking that you have to do. So we're, you know, so we're, money is just a tool that we're using for making these measurements. Okay, so don't worry. I mean, it's not until two thirds of the way through the chapter before we get to two thirds of the way through the book the semester before we get to the chapter called money and banking. So don't money is a tool. Are with me? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop there since I'm stopping twenty some odd minutes early, almost thirty. 25, something like that. Just because y'all didn't have, not that you needed a book, but you didn't have slides, study guides, that kind of stuff. I just sort of wanted to dip your toes in the water on things, get your minds wrapped around what we're doing, where we're going, and there you go. Does anybody have any questions? Hey, no, you know, not gave us a sign where I got the door, I ain't asking Jack now. <laughs> um, but we're gonna pick up here, whatever that day is, Thursday this week, and you all owe me 20 some odd minutes, so when it comes time to study for test number one, or you owe me 20 some odd minutes, right? There you go. So enjoy your free time behaving humanly, and I will see you Thursday.